When you turn one of these GoPro into a naked GoPro, you get a few pieces left over. One of those pieces is the GPS. And I read recently on the internet that you could use the GPS to install it on a regular drone. And that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna try to get that GPS that was left during the process of creating the naked GoPro, install it on my drone and see if it works. I'm going to assume that you have opened your GoPro and you can see inside the pieces that you have. And that one here, it's the GPS. That's the one that we want to remove. The process is not complicated, it's mostly glue. And once you remove the battery cage, you can remove the GPS easily. Here you have the diagram and how you have to solder your cables. I have now installed the GPS to my board. One, one very important thing is that this GPS takes 3.3 volts as input, so not five. Make sure that you are choosing a 3.3, otherwise you're gonna burn your GPS. And as always, TX to RX and RX to TX. Now let's go to Betafly and try it out. Now we are in Betaflight and what we're going to check is that the ports and the configuration is right. My GPS was connected on the UART6, so I select the GPS on the serial on the sensor input and now I see that the GPS icon is active. The second thing to check is that the configuration of the GPS is actually active and we select the right protocol which is NMEA and then make sure to have everything else on and don't forget to save. Here we can see that we got 11 satellites. It's very difficult to get a, a good image from the, the goggles inside, but at least uh, we got the 3D lock, so that's good. So there you have it. I think this was a pretty simple project. Very cool as well. Reusing something that was thought to be trash. Now I have it on my drone here. The two things to think about when doing this process is that number one, the GPS from the GoPro takes 3.3 volts and not five. So you have to make sure that your drone and your fly controller has a 3.3 pad or you can use a back, but I don't, I don't think it's worth to do that. Uh, and the second thing that you have to think about it is that now this, this little piece is not very standard, the shape and the size. So you're not gonna find any kind of uh, 3D print piece on the internet that fits this. So you have to get a little bit, use your imagination and figure out what you're gonna have to do in order to have the GPS in a right position to get your satellites. In my case, most probably I'm going to design a 3D printed piece so I can install it on the drone, but some other people can just put some zip tie around or just find a rubber or I don't know, you think about it. You just have to make sure that it's pointing the, the sky and that's it. This GPS got me satellites very, very fast, which is something that a lot of people uh, it's looking for. And the other thing is that it's very small, very light. Something else that for a lot of people might be convenient to maybe install on a smaller drone or something like that. So. Very happy that we could do this. Very happy that it worked. Thank you for everyone, very smart people, these very small people that find, uh, found out the pin of the GPS so we could do this kind of uh, projects. And hopefully this was something good for you. And thank you very much and see you again.